Are you putting your house on the market and would like to know the top ways that you can stand out in a crowded market? I've got four of them right now. Welcome back. I'm Steve Reese, a realtor in the Oklahoma City area, specifically the suburb of Shawnee, just east of Tinker Air Force Base. I run the SoldOnShawnee.com real estate and community blog, and I'm deeply involved in the advocacy efforts to protect your private property rights through our local, state, and national associations of realtors. And on this channel, I tell you exactly what you need to know to relocate to the Shawnee area and beyond. In a crowded real estate market, or not even uh, so crowded, you want to stand out among your competitors petition so that you're noticed first and seem like the best deal on the market right now. I always say it's a beauty contest and a price war every time. So I have four top ways that you can stand out among the competition. Number one, price your home strategically. You want to price your home right at or slightly under the market value so that you appear to be a really good bargain to the buyers out there. Remember, being right in that sweet spot will only increase the traffic through your home and might even create a multiple offer or two or three multiple offers the point is is that you you want to have your your home priced not speculatively but strategically so that you're you're right there where buyers are looking remember buyers are shopping by comparison they're comparing your home to other homes based on the uh, features in them based on their budget they they know what's a good deal and what's not a good deal number two stage your home now i don't mean clear out all your furniture and have new furniture moved in so that it looks like a, a show home i don't mean that at all but it could mean just the difference of taking out some pieces of furniture if you have a, lo a lot of furniture or too much if every space on your wall is is covered by furniture yeah we need to probably take some of that out and store it put it in a pod or a storage facility also it might be changing out a few things or moving a few things around so that uh, the space looks like it's uh, livable and the way um, we're trying to, to merchandise it and make it look like it's uh, ready to be put on the market just like a furniture store would do or any kind of retail establishment they're not just throwing things off of the truck and into shelves they're placing it so that it looks attractive to you and we do the same thing with the real estate listing so having it look like it uh, each room is meant for its purpose uh, shows something to the buyer and they can imagine themselves in there now we might find a home that's vacant and that presents another set of um, challenges if you will we don't really want to show that home empty all the time at least online because remember online uh, those buyers are your first showing they're going to select it there or not and move on to something else or schedule an in-person showing which would be their second showing on your house so having it strategically staged with uh, with appropriate furniture in several of the rooms i've got a, a great company on hand in another hemisphere that uh, does this just masterfully like nothing i've ever seen in our marketplace and it can really make the difference in uh, showing a, a home that's completely vacant with that paradox of choice do you know what paradox of choice is it's when um, we have so many options that all of a sudden we can't make any choice and sometimes a vacant home will do that uh, to a buyer or a home that uh, has rooms furnished that uh, they're not for the the purpose that that room is for so um, making some definitions of some of those rooms really does help buyers to to make a decision and, and make your home more more attractive number three my sign language curb appeal we want your home to have a really good hero shot online and also making it look its best when you drive up to the curb that curb appeal so the lawn should be trim probably should be fertilized if you don't normally fertilize your lawn this would be a good time to do it so that it's nice and green maybe put a fresh coat of paint on the front door some uh, flower vases pots flower pots out uh, by the front door some some color around the front door we want everything on that first impression of your home to just be stellar many times when all the things that a buyer 
can see if they look just perfect they worry less about the things they can't see like up in the attic or behind the the heat and air closet or that sort of thing but overall you just want your entrance to look welcoming number four our last way that you can stand out among the competition and that is to use professional photography and videography y'all i can't stress this enough there is so much mediocre marketing out there it's really not that hard to stand out in a crowd by using some good photography and i mean our our cell phones take pretty good photos they shouldn't be used in our marketing though um, we have the ability to put 50 photos in the multiple listing service. If you have any fewer than that, there's something wrong. One dead giveaway to not using professional photography online is when you see photos that are taken in the, the portrait mode instead of the landscape mode. Y'all, we're not just taking inventory of your house. We're merchandising it for the public, for consumers, for buyers who might actually select yours for an in-person showing. Videography is a way that buyers can imagine moving throughout the house. Some of it is probably more cinematic than practical, but nevertheless, good quality photos and videography attract eyeballs and get people to look at your home longer than they will the competition if they're using poor quality photos and videos 3d photos is another avenue that will help buyers imagine themselves in your home that's where there there will be a photo a, a 360 photo of a room and then different places where they can select to move throughout the home through a hallway to the kitchen to the backyard to to different rooms that's like walking through a home and y'all I've seen it over and over that really helps buyers imagine themselves in your home versus your competitions so there you have it my four top ways that you can stand out among the competition of listings out there so if you're thinking about selling your home talk to me or at least use these things to talk to your realtor about so that you're getting the advantage over your competition out there mm -hmm.